Hey guys, it's Elaine here, the Animal Reiki Lady. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you happen to be in the world. Thanks for joining me. Hey, I got to tell you guys, if there is anybody who can help me figure out how to go live on YouTube, please reach out, send me an email, put in a comment below, because I got to tell you, I've tried several times and nothing I do seems to work. And I have to tell you, I'm a, I am a, a live streamer. I live stream on Facebook and Instagram all the time, and I just can't seem to get YouTube. It's just not easy for some reason. Um, so if anybody can help me out with that, I either can't get my webcam to turn on, or it just sits in a cycle of spinning forever, doing nothing to indicate that I've gone live. So who knows? I'm going to pretend like this is a live stream video. So I wrote myself a couple little notes that I keep here on a paper to make sure that I cover everything. The only thing I won't be able to do is answer your questions live. So if you have questions as you're watching this video, please put them in the comments and I will respond. Um, sometimes I like to respond by video. I will try to answer as many of the comments as I can, um, but videos are the way that I love to communicate. And for whatever reason, I feel uh, confident doing that. So um, we're going to pretend like this is a live stream and I'm just going to go from the heart. So that's what I normally do. I just normally hit the go live button and I start talking and I share whatever comes to me. Um, and it mostly has to do with animals because that's what I do. So if you are catching this video for the very first time, in fact, I feel like I have like dog hair. <laughs> I'm constantly surrounded by animals, kids. All right. Um, if you're catching me for the very first time, my name is Elaine. I'm an animal Reiki master. I help people make deep spiritual healing connections with the animals in their life, including animals who have gone to the other side. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Um, sometimes the spiel just kind of rolls right off the tongue, um, but I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that as I talk a little bit more about myself, because the common questions that come up all the time and and there is a, a viewer here, um, Spanky, don't know your real name, but I love the handle. And um, he asked a really valid question. And that question is, how do you guys know that what I say is real? How do I know that what I say is real? And whether that's whether it's doing a reading for a pet on the other side or the, the downloads and information that I receive um, in general, that's meant as like this broad, beautiful message of hope. Uh, how do we know that those are real? It's a valid question. It's a really valid question. And that's the one I want to answer with this video. And then there, oh, darn, if I can't remember that pet's name, there is another one of you, uh, another viewer who has been actively following my videos and trying to put into place some of the steps that help you communicate with your animal on the other side. And she has had some great success and that's so encouraging because this is not just a gift that is unique to certain people. Um, I have It happens to be the, the area that I have cultivated. So just like playing the piano or going to the gym, through practice, we get better. Um, but it's open to everybody. We're just not taught it. And especially in our culture, in our society, we are, it's actually kind of, um, people look at us funny. And I have to, uh, I'm way over the skepticism, folks, way over skeptics. I don't care. Be skeptical. Be skeptical because it forces me to be better myself. So that's why I'm going to um, kind of address that question for Spanky and for all of you who um, who are really asking that same question as I did for so many years. And how did I come to trust the information that I'm receiving? All right. So the first thing is, let's talk about, I, I mentioned the word practice. I practice this all the time. I practice this daily. I do daily meditations I work with animals on a regular basis. I'm an animal Reiki master. What that means is that I, I'm a teacher of the system of animal Reiki. Reiki is what opened the doors for me. It helped me to quiet my mind. It helped me to open my heart. And when I could turn down all that chatter in the back of my mind, when I could turn down all the external stressors and all the external influences, I was able to connect with animals. They are not the least bit, bit interested in our stressful lives. When we are stressed, they run the other way. And so I learned through Reiki how to practice meditation so that I could quiet my mind. And I do this thing, what I call opening my heart, where I just allow my heart to fill with love and gratitude 
And when I do that, they are drawn to it. They're connected to it. And it was meant just for initially for animals here on earth. My goal was to be able to help them, to be able to help them through illness, injury, anxiety, depression, their own grief when an animal or their human passes, uh, and also animals in general, improving the quality of life for the animals who share our planet. And it unexpectedly turned into be able, being able to connect with animals on the other side, mostly from Lucy. Um, so Lucy is when I really began practicing this part of my, uh, of my practice, <laughs> practicing my practice. Um, so this is Lucy's paw print here, my special girl. And then, you know, I have her tattooed on my arm. I know it's hard to see with the direction of the camera. Um, and then I also have this beautiful memory of Lucy. I had this done um, on the uh, when Lucy crossed. So there's a little bit of her fur there, an ink paw print, the beautiful Rainbow Bridge poem. And when Lucy crossed, she really opened the doors for me. I did one other thing too, for those of you who are interested. Um, I did this thing. I had an essence made for her, a flower essence. Um, and the company has since changed names. There it says Mugwort and Moon. I, I think it's it's called something different now, Soul and Sass. But it, whatever, if anybody's interested, I, I can always point you in their direction. Um, when Lucy was preparing for her transition and she was reaching the end of her days, which we knew because we could see, we could see the decline in her physical and mental health. Um, although she was still very, uh, on, on many occasions, still very alert, her little body was giving out on her. So this beautiful essence of flowers and crystals was put together for her. And I would put a couple drops in her mouth every morning. Um, see, it's just this little dropper. I would put a couple drops in her mouth every morning as to, to let her have access to all the beautiful essences of crystals and flowers. Um, and it, it was one of the things that I did to help with her transition. Re regardless, on the day that she crossed, the night that she crossed, I had this beautiful dream of her as a wolf. And um, very much like these wolves back there and what I have tattooed on my arm. Uh, I had this dream of her that she had transitioned to her higher self. And when she did that, I, I started receiving messages from her almost right away. Don't, I didn't trust them. I didn't trust what was, I, I thought it was my own emotions, my own mind, um, but I continued to practice. And she started really sending me the messages of love and peace from the other side, letting me know that she had crossed with ease letting me know that no pet gets left behind, letting me know that there is someone on the other side always waiting for them. So she was not alone when she crossed. I had the sense that, and I don't know who it was, but she had someone waiting there for her when um, when her transition came so that was she easily, um, easily crossed. So anyhow, I practice, I practice all the time. Here's the other thing that I do, and I'm, I'm taking notes. Um, I study everything, everything. I, guys, I'm a regular person. I'm wearing a sweatshirt today. Here, here's little Winston that I wear. I'm wearing a sweatshirt today. I got my hair. I call this my the, the version of a ball cap. Um, when I don't feel like washing my hair, throw it up into a bun. I am a regular person. I spent 35 years in corporate. Uh, I have a family. I have grown children. Uh, I'm normal, just like everybody else. Normal. That's that's an interesting word, right? I am just a regular person. And the things that come to me now, I've learned to trust because I've chosen to practice them. I did leave my corporate job. Um, I now spend my days doing this full time. I teach animal Reiki. I also spend a day or two at a, a veterinary hospital. I spend a day or two at a pet funeral home because this is now my life. And I study everything about spirituality. I consciously develop, I cultivate my psychic abilities. The, the goofiest word, psychic, um, tele telepathic, all those things that come with all that baggage. But I cultivate those things that we are all born with, but that we are not taught how to use. And now I learn how to use them. Um, I read incessantly. I've got a bookshelf over here full of spiritual books. I read incessantly. I talk to people. I learn. I teach. I take my own version of classes. I go to different classes for myself. I've been through every animal communication class that you can imagine because I want to understand. And some are good and some are, and some are not. Um, some I think are very valid and some I think, oh my gosh, I can see why everybody's asking questions now if that's what they're learning. 
So I promise you that I spend my time understanding where these things are coming from. So let's talk about one thing in particular. Let's first talk about the readings. So when I do readings, what I do is I quiet my mind by going into a meditation. I love to meditate. I did not start meditating until I was in my 50s. I was 52 to be specific when I consciously set out to start meditating. Um, I'm in my 60s now, and I've been doing this co consistently for the past 10 years. So I, um, the readings that started, I was very nervous, guys. I'm still nervous about it. I... I sometimes question the information that I receive and I wonder if it's correct. I'm, I'm human. That's the way that it is. But I've learned more and more with more and more readings to trust. When I did the reading for the beautiful whiskey and whiskey's human validated so many things for me. When I did the reading for Beardy, the bearded dragon and Beardy's human validated so many things for me that I have really learned to lean into this and to trust what I get. That doesn't mean I don't make mistakes. Um, there are some things that come through that don't make any sense to the human that, with whom I share them. There are some things that don't make sense to me. And I love to use the analogy of the Long Island medium, if you know who I'm talking about. So the Long Island medium, or I think that's her name, right? The Long Island medium. She does readings for people and she's, they, you watch her shows and they're so cool because she's so spot on and everybody is the emotion is so amazing and, and they love to receive those messages from their loved ones on the other side. But what we don't get to see is the flip side. We don't get to see the B side, which is, I'm sure she would be the first to admit that, um, that when it's televised, you see the thing, you see the successful readings, the ones that are beautiful, the ones that are perfect. And you don't see the ones that maybe don't hit the mark. They, they miss the mark a little bit. And so I, I, I trust that I'm still receiving a message from an animal. I just may be either misinterpreting it or it's from an animal other than whom I am and who I think I'm doing the reading for. Like I use the example of Milo. I had three different Milos come through for me. And we kind of had to figure out between the three humans, which Milo was sending the message to who. So it was so cute. And I, I love that animals are so enthusiastic about reaching us from the other side because they want us, they truly want us to let go of fear. And this will kind of be a nice segue into the next, um, into the next mess, into the next part of the message, but they want us to let go of fear. They want us to trust them. They want us to know that there's life on the other side. They want us to know that it's happy and peaceful and beautiful, and we're not going to hell. They want us to know that they're not stuck in some limbo land um, because somebody didn't help them cross or because you accidentally turned your back at the moment that they crossed. They don't, they, they want us to let go of all of that, the, the human condition. They want us to let go of all those fear, fears, doubts, worries, guilt, grief, um, so much guilt, so much remorse um, that we should have done something, could have done, shoulda, coulda, woulda, all of that, let it go because they have crossed to the most beautiful place and they want us to know that they can still connect with us. And that leads to Spanky's question in particular, how do I know that it's real? How do you know that it's real? Um, so here's what I'm going to share with you about that. Um, it takes some belief. So depending on your belief system, this is what I have come to learn through the system of Reiki, that we are all one. And I don't mean that just here on earth. We are all one everywhere. All, all of us are a living spark, uh, a piece of the divine that has entered a physical body to experience this beautiful, amazing world with all its trials, tribulations, joys, laughter, tears, all of that experience. And our animals are here to experience that alongside of us. Our pets have come into our home for a reason. Um, they are amazing teachers. They want to help us. They are here as guides but they're also here to experience all of the beauty and all the things that we are experiencing and they want to experience it right along with us. So you have to believe in a universal connection. It's hard to proceed um, with this belief in the messages if you don't believe that there is a connection between all of us, that we are all connected through this beautiful web of life and the beautiful web of the universe. And I say that you can call, you can call it God, Buddha, Allah, spirit, source, the divine, whatever, um, even if, even if you're like not a believer in anything, 
you've felt a connection at some point with someone, something. So there has to be a, a general understanding that we have a universal connection. And I'm, I'm, I'm reading my notes a little bit. Reiki is what helped me get to that. And, in spe and specifically animal Reiki, when I started practicing meditation with animals and when I started practicing what I thought was going to be healing, and I raise my hands often because healing is comes from my hands, but um, when I thought it was going to be healing for animals, when it turned out they were the ones that were healing me the whole time. Um, it's also why I try to teach it. It's also why I don't accept any money for my readings because I want you to know that you can do this if you just kind of let your guard down a little bit. Um, stop Trust your gut, trust your instinct. Stop wondering what people are going to think because you don't even have to tell them. Um, don't worry about what other people are going to think. I try to teach it from an animal's perspective. And if you can just set aside your disbelief for a few moments and give them a little crack in the door, they'll open it wide for you. And that's how I know when you listen to the messages that I share from the animals, if it feels right, that's how you know if you feel your heart begin to swell, if you feel the goosebumps cover you from head to toe, that's when you know those there, there are such subtle communications from the animals. Um, I have one, one follower who said, I, I try, I want my pet to come through in my dreams and they never do. Relax into it, ease into it, look for the subtle signs, look for little, little tiny, go back and look at my lessons. I think I gave you five different lessons. And one of the most important that I feel is forgive yourself for whatever you're holding yourself responsible for. Let that go and um, ask for even the smallest sign that they are, um, that they're trying to connect with you. So let's see, I'm going to look at my notes again. I learned this through Reiki. If you guys are interested in the system of Reiki, it's a Japanese system. It's meant for stress reduction. And when we can reduce the stress in our own bodies, then it allows our bodies to heal. And we realize that animals can benefit from this too. But the thing that it taught me the most is how to be mindful and how to hold a space just for my animal with no expectations, no expectations of them, no expectations of me, just open my heart full of love and let them be. And that's when the animals from the other side started to come through too. They were like, thank you. Thank you for just letting me come be with you and share this beautiful message. Okay, one more secret. And that is a word I've used a couple times already. It's the word love, not romantic love. It's even more than the love we feel when we're holding that kitten right to our neck. The love of a grandchild in our arms, whatever that may be for you, the love of your special partner. It is profound universal love. It is the secret to opening everything. So some of the things that I practice, I look, I cover everything. School of Animal Mystics, guys, if you're interested, I cover everything from sacred geometry to, um, that's the most recent one on my mind, sacred geometry, telepathy, your psychic ability, mediumship, all of those things, animal Reiki even, the basis of it all is love. Love is the pervasive net that fills the universe. Love is the answer to everything. And you can study all of these different methods. You can study all of the different um, schools of thought, whatever it may be, it all comes back to the same thing. And that is love. If you're Christian, even if you're not Christian, you've probably heard that somewhere along the line that Jesus said, the greatest of these is love, the greatest of all things. It's why we don't need to we don't need to understand all the Egyptian hieroglyphics. We don't need to go back and wonder whether or not there was an Atlantis. All of those things are fun. They're interesting. They're cool. I love to study the whole history of Egypt. It's amazing to look at all of the things they already knew long before us. But what it comes down to is we can activate. I'll use that word, activate. We can activate all of our gifts if we give in to love. Open your heart with love watch. That's the little crack in the door. Remind them that you love them, that you have not forgotten them and trust that they love you and they have not forgotten you. That crack in the door will open wide and you'll be able to connect. And in the meantime, if you would like to learn more about that, School of Animal Mystics is on Fridays, every Friday morning, mountain time, 7 a.m. 
Um, I always put the link. I, I try to remember to put the link in my videos. That's the other reason I like to go live because all the rigmarole for getting a video posted. Holy cow. Anyway, um, I digress. If you'd like to learn animal Reiki, uh, I also go to my website or go to my link tree. I always, I usually put those in the comments too. Um, I teach every eight weeks. There's a new class that starts for animal Reiki. And it's a beautiful way to learn to start to make these kinds of connections with animals. If you really want to learn how to get out of your mind and how to drop into your heart space and how to let animals be your teachers, animal Reiki is the way to go. In the meantime, I will continue all this. I love to share this with you guys. Um, Spanky, I hope I answered your question. And if not, ask more because I can talk about this all day long, as you can see. <laughs> all right, that's it for now, guys. Have a wonderful morning, amazing have a wonderful, amazing morning, night, evening, wherever you happen to be in the world. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and may the animals light your way. Bye.